Tyvian Feaster will get the start at tailback. And a throw right out of the gate. And it's last year's championship hero, Hunter Renfro, with the first down catch. Beth has 86. That's how much usage he's getting early on this season. Of course, Barkley is the Heisman favorite right now, the tailback at Penn State. And it's a good start for Bryant with a pass completion and now a nice run out to midfield. Giving him. And that's Rocky Boyman, our field analyst for the day. The handoff is to Feaster, churning down inside the 35 and a gain of eight. Line of scrimmage. Nearly 50% on the season. On third down, Kane beat his man. Touchdown, Tigers. Come on, Kane, can you beat me one-on-one? -on -one? No, you can't. Puts the ball up high, perfectly thrown ball. Touchdown, Kane. Clemson loving it. And it's third and four. He's gonna try and run for it. Dodges his way out to the 29, and that's gonna be short. 36 yards rushing. It's a third and two. Bryant will throw for it. Kane with the catch, and that'll move the sticks. It's trying to play its way into a third championship game in a row. Number two right now behind Bama. Deep down the middle. Renfro taking a hit and hanging on. This ball right over the middle. Great route. And inside, outside by Renfro. He catches it. Watch this little hint to the outside. Steps his foot. Holds the safety. ETN. Got away from one man in the backfield and runs his way down inside the 30. Lower body strength. Watch the missed tackles. Don't go high because he can run right through it. I'll tell you what, they just feed you. Crowder and Pollard up front. The Biggins. Bryant down to the five to DeAndre Overton. So many athletes. Kelly Bryant's a distributor today. I think that's his number one job when he's a, as a passer. It's not there. You take off run, and he's been perfect at it. Choice. Touchdown, Tigers. So let's go with Choice on this one. Adam Choice barreling over linebackers, getting himself into the end zone. Trying to get to 6-0. and oh. Dorch. With a nice return. And he'll get out to the 35. As the Wolfpack looked impressive on Thursday night with a win over Louisville. Dorch. With the nice slant and the cut down inside the 30-yard line and a late flag may tack on additional yardage on the tackle by Ryan Carter. It's a gain of 43. Freshman, and he's explosive. 20 touches last week against Florida State. He will run by you, he will break tackles, and he'll take this offense in his hands. Looking to the end zone for Dorch, and he overthrew him. Five. Cam Serene, he's been one of their most productive tight ends in the history. Austin Bryant will drag down the quarterback Hinton. And a sack for the Tigers. And up. Now you can't pass the ball to your targets unless you have someone on them. If you're going to have a back, go try to block Austin Bryant, you got a problem. The best kickers in school history. This one from 34 yards away. And it is no good possibly turn it over that has not been the case for Kelly Bryant thus far on the season with Edgefor in his face he finds his man T Higgins downfield for the first down and a gain of 20. The right tackle has got to figure out a way to block Edgefor better a fantastic spin move just after Bryant threw the ball. Bryant first down in the weight territory the 45 and a run of 14. Second and ten to give the Feaster. Another big hole right up the middle and a first down. Here on third and four. Renfro right at the yard to gain. Where are they going to spot him? And he's got it. Through on a couple of PATs so far today. And that one hits the goal post. No good. When your opportunity does come, you're able to seize it. And for Kelly Bryant, that has certainly been the case this year.
Etienne, he's got it. First down, one of five different Tigers to carry the ball so far in the first half. Six of seven now on third down conversions. And the ball, the spot looks to be short. Richard in motion. Etienne up the gut. Got it. First down, Clemson. Really match that, and unfortunately for him, he has to do that against a very, very good Clemson defense. Hinton scrambling out of the pocket, decides to keep it on third and 20. He's going to get a chunk of it back, but nowhere near the first down marker. It'll be up fourth down here for Wake. This is Tavian Feaster into the next level, tripped up at the 40 and down at the 42. Back down, it makes a huge play, but they get the hole. Very fortunate. Third and 12, edge of four coming after him again. Bryant, elusive, gets it back out to the 47-yard line. Dortch with a touch. Greg Dortch has the first down. And against the four-man rush, Hinton, incomplete. Washington broken up by Fields. They break through with a winning campaign last year and get to a bowl game. And they have been much better of late. And it's a fake punt for Clemson. And it's a first down Tigers. On the throw by Will Spires to Powell. We see all the time these little pop passes. Look at this. Bam launches it outside. Bullet. Great catch. Powell's getting involved too. He makes a great play on the punt. Get saving the ball in the back of the end zone. Then he comes out, plays a little receiver. Edge of four replaced by Basham coming off the left edge. They set up the screen for Feaster. Hall down just across midfield. On first and ten for Kendall Hinton. Hand it off to Colburn. Diving across the 30. Converted a third down here in the first half. Until now, it's Dortch at the 45. He's got a little bit of a mismatch with the shorter corner. Bryant applying the pressure. Hinton rifles it downfield, and it's caught by Dortch. And it is no good. But a couple of misses now from the field goal unit back to Clemson. The catch by Powell. To get the excitement for this offense going. Etienne with the burst across midfield and down to the 46. Tackled by Jesse Bates in a gain of 12. He is the home run hitter. Look at the hole, folks. Nobody's home. On third and long, Bryant. McLeod going to have to work to get the yardage. Inside the 40, and he's going to come up a couple yards short. Amari Henderson knocked him out. Looking for Renfro. Hunter with the catch and moving for the cut back at the 20 and hold down at the 10 yard line. At the 8. May have been a pick on the outside by, I believe that was Kane. Tough to see on that angle, but Renfro again. Second goal, Bryant keeping it all the way. Sheds a couple of tacklers down to the one. Third and goal. 12 carries today for Bryant. ETN is the offset back. Travis will get it. Touchdown, Tigers. When it gets close, he's offensive lineman. Clean house, ETN. On third down, broken up by A.J. Terrell. The two rookies up top. Cooper, plenty of time, and dropped by Fuller at the 25. It's fourth down. Potentially after this game. Hinton, first down. Went out with an ankle injury, apparent ankle injury. A few moments ago. Terrific move by Arkeen Bird, the redshirt freshman out of Savannah. Bird 
Smith looking for an opening. He doesn't find one. Instead, he meets Trey Lamar. Auburn beating up on Ole Miss today. And Oklahoma in a bit of a battle in the third quarter right now. That is a completion to Deion Kane for a first down. A third down and one right here. Give is to Adam Choice, first down. Getting the ball out of the quarterback's hands, they take away those easy routes on the outside. Big reason why they are pitching the shutout so far early in this fourth quarter. And Niles Pinckney will get to the quarterback, Kendall Hinton. Third and 12. Hinton running out of real estate. Hit by O'Daniel incomplete. Right now is not something I would want to do as a player. Is it decent chance for some injury here? <laughs> they run over every option of a game day, and one thing they practice is running down this hill so they don't mess it up during the season. He's got CJ Fuller in the backfield with him. He's gonna throw it. Touchdown Tigers to Cannon Smith. We're waiting for a tight end to catch the ball in this game, Ben. This is a blocking tight end, number 84. These backups moving forward in the season. On third down, and Wake will get the pickup. After this game against Clemson. Last year, it was a 3-5 finish after that 4-1 start, and Hinton tripped up and down he goes. <laughs> First down, out to the 45, Tabari Hines. They've been limited Wake Forest, but they've been all over the football when the ball's in the air. Hinton, across midfield, he gets to the outside, he's got a blocker downfield. Hinton inside the 20 and run out of bounds. Bit of contain issue on the outside, number two, 22 gets caught up, not being able to make a proper read and make that tackle. That's Xavier Kelly. Came up a little bit limp with maybe a hamstring issue. He's going to try and throw it into the end zone. Touchdown, Scotty Washington. Wake Forest, they're trying to get something drummed up, and finally they hit their big target, the 6'5 wide receiver, getting himself a touchdown. They'll have to go and assess that, Beth, after this football game. Hopefully it's not something that will make him miss any significant time. And I talk to Clemson staff and... Being guys in the day-to-day -day and not looking ahead. But this Saturday is the only one that matters. Behind. Well, you can't complain too much about the first two games if this does become a trilogy. <laughs> Third and five. Going to be fourth down in a couple. The pump fake to Dorch, and lunging forward is the quarterback hitting for the first down. So Greg Dorch is back out there in the lineup as well. What's coming? Under duress to the end zone, and it's dropped. Just a three-man rush hitting. Looking to the end zone, touchdown, Wake Forest to the tight end. Sheridan. Underneath, pulls the defender. Finally, they go to the tight end. I wanted to circle him, but they just been falling asleep. And Cam Sirene is... To eventually beat South Carolina and get to a bowl game that year. So that was a memorable week for Dabo. So was this one for this entire Clemson team. You